Well, hello everybody. To uh, <laughs> welcome to Juiced, I should say. There's nothing on the screen at the moment, but we'll get there soon. Just gotta post this bad boy over in the Discord and uh, click on the game so that it actually loads in. <laughs> this is a little bit of a janky stream setup because, uh, yeah, Juiced is four by three, so <laughs> yeah, we're we're rolling with it today. Man, I got a lot of notifications and stuff going on, but I'm hopeful this is the first time I've streamed in, like, weeks, and I want to, first of all, apologize to you for not streaming. Um, <clears throat> the reason has been that I've just been busy, and uh, it hasn't really made a lot of sense to stream, so, um, yeah, we're, uh, we're out here <laughs> playing Juiced instead. Uh, I figure that this is just going to be a one-off stream. I played a little bit of Juiced. It's it's okay. It's not amazing. So I was like, eh, you know what? Instead of trying to force my way through the entire game, let's just play a little bit of it and um, try to enjoy it for an hour or two tonight. Probably not two. That would be a little late, but at least an hour. Let's do it. <clears throat> hey, what's going on? Your local Canadian uh, and also Invetagon? In Vitagon, CD-ROM moment indeed. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly double check the Discord to make sure I posted this bad boy up there. But uh, I think it's time that we got juiced, if you know what I mean. <laughs> that that can mean a lot of things. Now that I say that out loud, that that can mean a lot of different things. Um, <laughs> all right, though. <clears throat> So, um, let's play the game. Uh, let's first of all do a custom, custom race. I gotta click into the game for this. There we go. <laughs> hey, thanks. Appreciate it for mentioning that. Three ads, really? Um, that's more than excessive. I. <clears throat> so when it comes to YouTube ads, I specifically have. <laughs> the, some of them turned off, um, but I guess I might have left them on for this. Not intentional. Not intentional. I'm not trying to make you watch 400 ads before uh, <laughs> before watching my videos. <clears throat> Let's do a quick race real, real fast here. Hey, welcome to the stream, everybody. <laughs> but uh, we we're starting off real strong with the um, <laughs> Punto. Uh, we can modify it uh, in an interesting way. I really like that you can just flip through all these modifications and just have whatever horrible combination you want. That's kind of just the style of these games. <clears throat> I don't know. Like, just look at this thing, okay? that That is the style of Juiced right, right there. Um, and our power is not changing, so it seems like it's just a... Uh, look, <laughs> that's pretty much it. We can change the color as well to be pearlescent, um, because again, juiced. And I'm using a combination of an Xbox controller, which I can show you guys here, and also the uh, the keyboard <laughs> to be able to do this, because uh, it's not 100% supported on the uh, controller. But let's uh, let's just do a race. Um, <laughs> we don't have many tracks or anything at the moment. Let's do a speedway race. Just two laps so we can get warmed up, and uh, we'll kind of see what uh, what Juiced is all about. If you know what I'm, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so this is the first Juiced. This game actually came out in 2005. To put that in perspective, uh, I can't skip these intros without using the um, enter button. <laughs> but to put that in perspective, that means that uh, oh my goodness, this car is all over the place. <clears throat> Hold on, hold on a minute. There's something I gotta do that I might have forgotten about. You gotta turn the steering sensitivity all the way down. <laughs> Otherwise the game is just absolutely unplayable. There we go. <laughs> um, but uh, Juiced came out in 2005, and uh, to put that in perspective, 
that is the same year as uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. <laughs> so, uh, a little bit of a difference in uh, in the budget here uh, between these two games, but a little bit of a difference in quality as well. Um, and the game is screaming at me to break. It is like, please break, but uh, I'm not going to because I'm driving a Fiat. Uh, brakes are optional. <clears throat> Oh my goodness. <clears throat> well, um, some things to note about this game that I've noticed so far in my, like, maybe half hour of playtime just to make sure it was going to work for the stream is, uh, for one, the graphics leave a lot to be desired, um, but it's not that big a deal. Like, I really don't think that racing games, like, racing game graphics really matter that much. It's more about physics. <laughs> and the physics are, uh, iffy when you have the steering poorly set up but with the sensitivity all the way down it's all right it's not too bad <clears throat> but we won our first race there uh just on a just on a quick race hey logan how's it going welcome to the stream um <laughs> let's get into the career and we'll see what the career is all about Angel i honestly City, have no idea home to the country's <clears throat> toughest street racing crews in Juiced, you'll get to meet them all. Okay. Well, I also turned off the music, so again, we're missing a huge portion of the game. Challenge them for ownership, entertain them with slick maneuvers and cool style, and win the best-looking machines for yourself. Now let's meet TK, leader of the Urban Maulers. <clears throat> get you on the line. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can hear these intros or not, but they are... Uh... I'm TK. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so you want to race. <clears throat> <laughs> Graphics, man. Oh, yikes. If you bend my wheels, you'll have to pay. After the race, buy your own vehicle. To make it well, interesting, let's have a little bet. Nice wheels. <clears throat> sure beats the hell out of mine. <laughs> let's see what you're made of. Okay, so we're starting off the game with an Eclipse GSX, which is not a bad car to start with. Um... $2,000 starting bet? I guess we can just accept it. I have no idea if we're going to be uh, any good or not. <laughs> uh, I like the ability to place bets. <clears throat> uh, forgot to click yes. You sure there we go. Money to burn, man. Seeing as I have never played Juiced, this is the first time I've played it, uh, I have no idea how things work, but we're we're just going to kind of figure it out as we go. If you've got more juiced experience, be sure to uh, hit me up in the comments. But we're driving an Eclipse GSR, uh, and uh, thankfully I do have the camera button nice and, <laughs> nice and uh, set to our stick so we can actually look at the car and stuff. Um, slow down, we have boost as well. I'm liking the boost effects. Um, <laughs> the fire coming out of the tailpipe is just... Yikes, uh, but it really does go pretty darn far. <laughs> it's definitely dramatic with the shaky camera, although it hurts my eyes. Let's be real. <clears throat> I probably should have bet a little bit more money, because apparently I'm absolutely thrashing this guy, but... Uh, I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about winning in the early stages of the game. That's for darn sure. There is damage in this game. Um, I... Uh, <laughs> Probably should keep that in mind. <clears throat> what is this, Fast and Furious? You know, it kind of is Fast and Furious, uh, at least in terms of style. I'm just going to use all my boost at this point. <laughs> We're running into the laps here. <clears throat> oh my goodness. I'm playing this on a very small window on my 2K screen, so... Oh, dang, Nitrous is empty. Well... <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get any more either. Uh, and he is gaining, so we're going to have to resort to some cheeky tactics to do it. Yep, that's it. That's all the nitrous we got. Come on, Eclipse, you got this. We were faster than him when we had boost, but apparently not anymore. Okay, it, it doesn't matter. We win. If I had a hat, I'd take it off. Hey Connor, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for watching my videos. I I uh, am definitely into you guys. Uh, um, 
what am I trying to say? Thanks for watching the videos, basically. <clears throat> I appreciate when people uh, I don't know how say that they it. like the Go stuff that I make. Next, you'll need to visit the lot to buy your own car. Remember to save a couple of thousand for entry fees. Okay, so we're going to... Um, well, we had to repair his car, unfortunately, because we just borrowed it from him. But we're going to buy our own car here. Looks like we got a few different choices. CRX, uh, a different CRX, <laughs> for whatever reason. <clears throat> I'm not sure what the D means in the brackets. Uh, damaged, maybe? We got a Beetle. Beetle that is, I'm assuming, damaged because the condition changes. Another Beetle here. 208 or 206 our best friend the uh, the 206 is here and the 206 GTI uh, in poor condition we could actually buy a good condition car without even thinking too much because somehow we have 46 grand already in this game which is seemingly quite extensive hey thanks for the tip on the nitrous uh, Cornelius I appreciate it um, I'm going to make a rash decision, by the way. I'm going to get a Beetle GLS, uh, and I'm going to specifically get the uh, blue one here. CRX is cool, 206 is cool, uh, but we're going for the uh, the GLS. <clears throat> it seems kind of fun. I, I mean, I've never driven or never like purposely chosen a Beetle in a racing game, so why not? <laughs> At this point, let's just do it. Workshop, uh, let's see what we can do. Car spec, oh my goodness, this is weird looking. Mod available, mod applied. What the heck am I looking at? I guess, okay, so car car spec just seems to be like a an overview of what our car looks like. I'm guessing that's what it is. Um, and then the t this stuff here is, is us actually getting it. But customization, we got body kit, performance, color. Let's do uh, body kit stuff and see what there is. <clears throat> None of them are good, but that's kind of a theme of this game, isn't it? Uh, maybe this one? Ah, oh, we can't get it. I'm assuming it's all locked at this point. Yeah, everything everything is locked. Koenig wheels. Actually, we can put wheels on it. Let's put some BBS wheels on. Oh yeah, those are classics. BBS GT wheels. <laughs> now we have a BBS sticker as well. Oh, we can put a wing on it. Duck bill. Nothing there. Graphics. <laughs> oh, we need the bride sticker in this game, guys. <clears throat> hey, Owen, I appreciate you sticking it out just for a comment or two. Uh, but yeah, no worries if you can't make it to the full stream. I actually have done a max downforce car in the past. Um, oh my goodness, some of these decals. But I have done a max downforce uh, car in the past. Um, it's been a long time, though. It has been a really long time. I'm just going for the full-on limo tint here. I'm spending all my money on stupid stuff. Um, but uh, I figure, <laughs> why not? We have a Beetle. We may as well give it a bit of customization. I was looking for some kind of cool decal for the side, but um, seems like this is all we got. For now, at least. A lot of tribals, a lot of random stuff, and then that seems to be locked. Let's just throw... Uh, man, this this car is going to be ugly as heck. But let's just throw this robot on the side of it. Five grand for that. <clears throat> Over to performance. Probably should have put stuff in here first. Can, we can just tune the car to give us more power. I mean, why not? Um, 160 horsepower, I'll take it. Nitrous, we can't have any of that. Turbos, can't do anything with that. 
tires, we can only get level one. <clears throat> the performance mods are actually pretty cheap so far. Brembos, we may as well throw some on there. Yeah, we can't get any higher than level one at the moment. And I'm assuming that we don't want to jump up in classes either, but we'll get there when we get there. Oh my goodness, the exhaust pipe straight out the back. You know, that is a very beetle thing to do. And we'll put some eyebox springs in this bad boy. One thing I'm, I'm noticing as we play this and as we customize the car is uh, the decals of the brands that we are getting are appearing on our car, which is cool. So if you pick HKS, which I tend to like HKS stuff in real life, then now we're going to have HKS stickers on our car, <laughs> which is a cool little touch. I mean, it's less customization, but it gives a little bit more reason to pick a certain brand over another. So... That's a, that's a nice little thing. Uh, ride height, we should probably go as low as we possibly can because yes. And then I think that's going to be it for now. I'm not going to do anything with the gear ratios. We haven't even tried the car yet. Uh, so yeah, we'll just leave it. Color's good. Body's good enough for now. And let's go for a test drive. The game just crashed. <laughs> no, I hope that it's saved. Please, Juice, come back to me. Okay, maybe we won't go for a test drive. We'll, we'll just avoid that. <clears throat> hey, Jared, how's it going? Welcome to, uh, to Juiced. Continue. Please don't have lost the progress. Oh, no, I, I think I lost all that progress. That was disappointing. <laughs> Come on. Oh, man, I've just... We, we lost everything there. <laughs> Absolutely everything is gone. <clears throat> so it looks like the way that they do things is... Uh, it's a calendar-based system. Kind of like a sports game, like a sports season. I'm assuming that's what we're going to have to go through. It, this reminds me of playing like WWE or something where you have to s pick which matches you want to do on each day. This looks like some kind of show off. Well, that's literally what it says there. Show off skills. Uh, perform flashy moves and tricks. <laughs> I mean, it's a free entry, so I guess we may as well try it. But uh, we are driving at this point a stock beetle, so... Um, I'm not sure how successful we're going to be there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to quickly, very quickly, modify our car back to uh, where we were before. <clears throat> With the rims, uh, we had BBS rims. Maybe we won't do everything we did before, just the quick stuff, I guess. Where's the wing? There it is. <clears throat> and then the uh, the performance mods as well. I want to make sure that this actually saves, so I'm ex exiting out of it to ensure that it does. But I'm just going to slap level 1 everything on there, and then, uh, yeah, we'll just hopefully be able to actually run this. Lowering all the way down. Please don't crash. By the way, this is a legit copy of the game. Like, I actually purchased a disc... Uh, of the game and I'm running with an only one modification and that is the uh, controller support improvement mod but it's not perfect so uh, yeah we're, we're just running with that <clears throat> to try and, uh, and make the game a little bit more playable at least on there we go 170 okay now our beetle is modified we're going to avoid the test run Autosave. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So the beetle is jacked up a little bit. <clears throat> Let's go to a race. Let's see what this uh, Monday thing is all about. Obviously, I'm going to do every event because uh, we don't know 
Yes. What is show off? Show off mode gives you the opportunity to really show. So we got to drift. We got to do stunts, I guess. There's a Supra in this game. I just learned that. I mean, are we uh, surprised that there's a Supra in this game? Try building up your combination multiplier by successfully executing a variety of moves. Be warned, if you wipe out, your multiplier will be slashed. Here's a few tips. Show off events are best attempted in front wheel drive cars. It's a lot more challenging in a four wheel drive car. Okay, so <laughs> what it's suggesting is that we use a front-wheel drive car for this, uh, which is going to be difficult. Okay, the 180 degree spin is one of the easier moves. To do it, simply achieve a forward speed of at least 35 miles per hour. Okay, so we have to do a J turn. <laughs> That's one of the moves. Bootleg turn. What's this? This move is basically a U turn. To make one is easy. Simply achieve a forward speed of at least 35 miles per hour. Wow, it actually has speed specific for this as well. 360 spin. One of the coolest moves you can do, but it sure is risky. Traveling forward. Okay, I think we can figure this out. Um, Beetle GLS, let's uh, let's take it. See if we can't just do this. I, I'm assuming that this is going to be an absolute disaster, by the way, because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Um, handbrake, I have mapped to. <clears throat> Wait, that was supposed to be one of those moves, wasn't it? Well, <laughs> um, you know, I uh, kind of feel like I might have uh, might have failed this one already. <clears throat> Let's just drive the track, if there is even a track, and see what happens. I'm assuming that it just kind of stops up here. That's minus points. Reverse is actually RB because this is janky as heck. <clears throat> I guess what they want is like a very particular way of you doing it, uh, which I am not doing. I'm kind of more used to like the Dirt 3 uh, more freestyle combo system thing. So from now on, we're going to skip all of these show-off events. <laughs> this is going so poorly. <clears throat> skip. Skip. Repair and maintain. $500 to maintain our car, I guess. It's not a big deal. And we may as well just uh, continue with these races. We'll skip the show-off events, and we'll go straight for uh, this circuit. We may as well do actual races. <clears throat> do you play any non-racing games? Uh, I do. Actually, I play a lot of non-racing games, but for the purposes of this channel, this channel is basically all racing games, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, why we're, that's why I'm playing racing stuff. Hmm. So, it looks like we're up against some harsh competitors, unfortunately. <clears throat> RSX Type S with 195 horsepower, uh, an Integra Type R with again 195 horsepower, and then an MR2, uh, which is probably, well, it's 179 horsepower. I think we're probably going to get slapped, so I'm not going to bet anything here. We don't know how fast our Beetle is just yet, so we'll have to give it a couple races and see. <clears throat> Yeah, I uh, I guess I'll have to attempt one of those show-off things eventually, but for now we're just going to try and actually win races, get money this way. We're getting respect from just winning races, so I'm kind of down with that too. Oh goodness. No boost yet, unfortunately. <clears throat> oh... <laughs> Hey, random guy, you know, I wish that that was the case for more people, but it's clear that people are here for BeamNG automation mostly, so that's kind of what I play. <laughs> and I probably should not have braked so hard for that corner. <clears throat> we're good, though, we're good. <laughs> you know, the OP Beetle strats. The thing is that the Beetle underneath is basically just a golf, so 
or even a GTI, depending. <laughs> but it's not that bad a car to drive. I think it's uh, pretty ugly, but <laughs> it's kind of a kind of a performance car in some ways. <clears throat> I've mentioned this a lot of times in the past, but it's been a while, so I'll bring it up, that uh, I really like cars that are kind of sleepers almost a little bit. Almost a little bit is a bunch of qualifiers on that, but like the Infiniti G35 sedan, for example, obviously I have one, so I'm a bit biased, but uh, it's basically a 350Z underneath. It's a slightly longer wheelbase 350Z, so... You do get that performance, maybe not the lightness, but the performance nonetheless of a 350Z with a sedan, and that's kind of fun. <clears throat> I feel the same way about the Beetle, like especially the, this Beetle, which is a Turbo 1.8, I believe, uh, which is the same as, again, you're mentioning the Audi, uh, Audi TT. Audi TT? I always say Audi, I'm not sure if it's actually Audi, but Audi TT. Um, and also the GTI, I think, like Volkswagen basically just shared the same stuff through a bun bunch of cars, and most of them are sports cars, except for this, but, I mean, it just doesn't look it, <laughs> but it has the performance to back it up. Front wheel drive or not, <laughs> this is what you get. Oh goodness, hey, yeah, I did cut my hair, it's quite drastic, but uh, it was very necessary. So, a uh, question for those of you who grew up with Juiced. I saw a couple of comments of people saying uh, that uh, they grew up playing this. For me, I totally didn't. I was a bit of a Need for Speed kid. I uh, was not playing Juice back in the day, but... <laughs> I mean, what was it like back then? Did you? I'm assuming you liked it if you have fond memories. But... Was it good back in 2005? I have no idea. I have not looked up any reviews. I kind of prefer to not look up any reviews before playing. Oh my goodness. We are getting a lot of respect points at the moment. Hopefully that actually means something in the grand scheme of things. Oh, that was a tight quarter. Time for English class, you know, that's probably more important. The way that I speak is not going to teach you anything good uh, in terms of English, my goodness. Yeah, you know, this game I mentioned earlier in the stream, but 2005 was when this came out, and it's, uh, well, <laughs> direct competition with Need for Speed Underground 2 and also Need for Speed Most Wanted. So, for me, like, I picked out Most Wanted from the shelf, and I kind of grew up playing Most Wanted, and then I played Underground 2 as well. We've played through both of them on my channel in streams, like the full games. Um, which has been quite a lot of fun. But then I figured we'd try out some of the other competition from the, that era. And this is one of those games. I kind of feel like each of them... Goodness. I kind of feel like each of them have their own little... Uh, perks. <laughs> Some of the games are better than others, obviously. Cool performance on the circuit, man. What the heck does any of this stuff mean? <laughs> I guess there's actually like a simulated racing squad going on here. But it doesn't particularly matter to us at this point. So, uh, oh, you used to love playing this game? Hey, that's good. I'm, uh, if I say anything, okay, let me, let me, uh, clarify here. If I say something bad about Juiced, it's not because I hate it or something like that. It's, it's just because maybe I'm having a hard time at the moment or <laughs> it's, uh, maybe not aged as well as it could have. <laughs> Some of the other games, like I think Most Wanted as an example aged quite well and the game plays really nicely. Um, same thing with uh, Underground, Underground 2 specifically. It aged pretty well, so it's nice and like it's easy to play. There we go, sorry. Trying to read through some of your comments. I appreciate the, uh, the lengthy comments, by the way, guys. Um, they're just harder to read while we're actually playing the game. <laughs> 
discovering it felt like a hidden treasure. Hey, you know, that's that's kind of how I feel sometimes. I've got a pretty big PC game collection, and uh, I've got a lot of classics in there that I still need to, to discover or rediscover in some cases. Um, <laughs> like Morrowind is in there. i got to play that at some point. <laughs> It was cheaper than the bigger games. Yeah, you know, you're right about the mechanics and customization. Um, let's uh, continue on the racing that we're doing here. <clears throat> we may as well just hit up every race in the, in the calendar, by the way. We can also watch them. I'm not sure if you noticed that option, but it's pretty darn cool. All right, Beetle GLS. We probably could get some upgrades, but we won the last race pretty handily, so let's just uh, let's just do it. And I'm not gonna bet just in case we get slapped. <laughs> I don't want to lose all my money. <clears throat> okay, I'll keep that in mind, Chris. Thank you for the thing about the pink slips. Automobile. Auto model list. Oh man, I can't. I know how to pronounce that, I just can't pronounce it at the moment. <laughs> oh man, it's right on the tip of my tongue, but I know what game you're talking about. Um, I think I've seen people play that, uh, and I should definitely check it out. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> say whatever I want. This game is old as heck. You know, you're you're really right about that. This game is bloody ancient, but I. I mean, other than playing in 4x3 and me crashing into walls because I'm checking out the comments, um, it, it's not that bad. Like, it, with the steering tightened up, basically by reducing the sensitivity all the way, it's not bad. Like, it plays decent. I definitely can't complain about the, the gameplay itself. Like, for an older racing game, it, it's good enough. Um, in terms of the other stuff around it, that's kind of what we're exploring today. The different mechanics and things and fun stuff that we can discover. Oh goodness. <laughs> you know, I'm winning these races pretty easily. We did put level 1 upgrades on everything, but uh, this class is specifically restricted to 199 brick horsepower, so... It seems like obviously we're restricted in that way. We can't go over the class limits. But there's got to be another thing that we can do. Like, could we have level 5 suspension on this and still only be limited to 199 horsepower? <laughs> if that's the only restriction, then it seems like we could build a pretty OP car in the, in the future for this class. <clears throat> but yeah, ultimately, I feel like playing these old racing games is a lot of fun. And it's nostalgia for some of you. Uh, but for me, it's all brand new. But it's kind of fun to experience what games uh, I missed from this era. Because I, I was playing games at this time, but uh, <laughs> I missed a lot of games. I didn't have very much money when I was a kid. <laughs> I had a paper route, so I could only buy uh, some some games, I should say. And I had no consoles back in the day other than a GameCube, so I could pretty much only get uh, stuff that was either on GameCube or on PC, and then only things that I could actually afford. Uh, I don't... Oh man, the box is literally on my shelf over there, but is this game rated T? <laughs> it might be, I'm not sure. I know that Import Knights, the uh, second one, is definitely rated T. But, uh, yeah, I wasn't allowed to have any game over E for a long time, so... Um, most Wanted was a bit of a stretch back in the day. And Carbon was a no, because I believe Carbon is at least E10. <laughs> oh, goodness, snapping my shoulders. You know, we are... <laughs> I'm not a fan of the Break Now stuff, but I guess I might be able to turn that off. I'm not sure. But uh, I guess it's for... This game being uh, more geared to a younger audience, <laughs> trying to teach us how to play. It's not that big a deal. You know, uh, everybody out there playing the new Gran Turismo, and uh, and I'm here playing Juiced. <laughs> I guess that's just how it goes sometimes. 
I don't have a PS5 or a PS4, but I would like to try the new Gran Turismo eventually. Looks pretty good. Better than <laughs> better than Forza. Oh no, no, just kidding. The second one, physics are whack. You know, I'm gonna have to track down a copy of the second one just to learn how whack the physics are. Uh, the second one has some personality, and I'm putting that in uh, in some quotes because the girl that's on the thumbnail of this very stream is from the second game. She's not actually from this game, I don't think. Um, but uh, yeah, that that's what the, that's the direction that this series went. It turned into a uh, girl on the cover of the game trying to get your attention with uh, models and things. Um, and then obviously it was on the newer platforms on Xbox 360 and PS3, and uh, that's all that I know about it. Other than the DS version, which I played when I was a kid, and uh, whenever we were on the loading screen, or I believe it could have been the title screen as well, we had to like hide the DS, like just pr pretend that this is a DS, we'd be like, like covering up the screen so that our parents wouldn't see. <laughs> if you know that game, you know what's on there. <clears throat> All right, so another five grand in the old bank account and new mods for our beetle. Uh, plus we get some respect. I'm just gonna skip. Repair, 500 bucks to repair. Pretty easy uh, in terms of the damage model and stuff. It's it's taking it easy on us. We're not, uh, not struggling too hard here. Sponsors and entertainment were the stick for the second game. Interesting that they've chosen to do that. Uh, the entertainment is definitely interesting. Um, looks like we can slap another filter on there. I'm going to go with HKS again. Uh, and level 2 suspension, not quite yet. Level 2 muffler. Borla again. Gearbox, I still don't know if we really need to change that. It's kind of fine the way it is. Brembo, uh, you know, AEM makes good stuff too, but let's just put Brembo's on there. Improving our handling is always going to be my uh, my priority here. Turbos, uh-oh. Uh, it looks like we might be able to bust ourselves out of this class because we could put some HKS turbos on there and that'll bring us out of the class. I'm not sure if we want to do that yet. Um, but we can get nitrous, which is going to make a huge difference. Let's do NOS. Yes! And we'll make some fine adjustments. 189 horsepower. Heck, yes, boy. Uh, we are absolutely ripping. <laughs> In terms of the turbos, I'm not sure uh, if I want to do that yet. <clears throat> we'll see, though. Midnight Club 3. I actually have uh, Midnight Club 3. I also have um, the Dub Edition Remix version for the original Xbox, which is a great game. Played a decent amount of it. I'm putting some improvements on our Beetle, and I'm not going to hit the free roam thing because it seems like it doesn't work, uh, but I will quickly add a little, uh, little squiggle to the side of our car, you know what I mean? Tint the windows all the way dark. Yeah, no, th this is going to be a pretty poppin' beetle, that's for darn sure. And we need some orange underglow. Uh, customize the color of our thing. Let's just make this uh, orange, orange and blue theme. <laughs> it actually shows a picture of the stereo. No way. Man, putting a stereo in your car was such a big thing back in these days. I can't believe that they actually have a picture of the stereo in here. I have no idea what's good anymore in these things, but uh, I remember one of my friend's dads having a stereo very similar to this in his car. <laughs> so None of them are doubled in either, that is just very strange. I'm gonna put this in there, 800 bucks, let's do it. 
and I don't care about the horn at all. Um, <laughs> and the color is actually good. I'm, I'm pretty fine with the blue. Uh, but let's make our rims orange as well. You know, this car, getting into the competition for one of the ugliest possible cars that we can ever create. Um, but let's continue on with the racing. Let's do this one here, and uh, I guess after this event we'll get the turbos and jump up a little bit. Hey, you no, know, you were right. The customization is pretty darn cool. I like the little detail there that we can uh, that we can. Okay, you know what? We're gonna bet. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna bet against uh, this guy here with 152 horsepower. Ah, oh, some new blood for the tracks. Hmm? 15 grand bet your wheels make my whole car look like a retread so let's hear it big boy what's the bet she wants a fifteen thousand dollar bet i feel like i'm just gonna steal all this money um so let's let's try it we're taking a massive risk but uh if we end up winning then uh, it's gonna be worth it <clears throat> okay well uh hopefully we can grab a new car out of this i i mean i picked somebody with a kind of a crappy car but uh we now have nos <laughs> so if we end up getting a little bit too far behind we could always boost the heck out of our car and, and make our way uh into uh hey, hold on. the first place <laughs> oh man she didn't like that <laughs> I actually okay. Now that we've entered into the the game a little bit further, and we're we're kind of we're we're done week one of the calendar. I kind of understand the appeal of that kind of system because obviously we can game the heck out of it. Our car is pretty jacked up compared to her car, so I feel like we're at an advantage um, <laughs> to say the least. But uh, I am uh, very pleased at the ability to just kind of sandbox our way through this game and by that i mean um, we can pick whatever car we want to bet on uh, we can choose to pick the weakest car in the game bet a ton of money <laughs> and then slap them and get it back <clears throat> that's kind of how i feel about this now not bad at all new lap record and we are pretty far ahead uh, handling feels a bit weird now that we have handling upgrades the car pulls very slightly to the left which means that my controller dead zone in the game is not set up well, which is unfortunate, <laughs> but not much I can do about that. We'll just have to work with it. Oh, this is janky. Oh, I'm just gonna keep jetting my way through this. <clears throat> NOS will start leaking if you damage your car enough. That is a good thing to know. Thank you for letting me know about that. Pack is gaining, no! Well, oh, that's probably because we're going through the slow section of the track. Come on now, game. Six seconds out. Yeah, we're not, uh... We're definitely not too far, uh... <laughs> too far away. I like the giant NOS billboards. I feel like that really, uh... Complements Need for Speeds billboards as well with the <laughs> Best Buy Pizza Hut. <laughs> Oh man, <clears throat> advertising in these old games uh, was was a little little too prevalent. I'm gonna try and save the boost for uh, the end of the race. That being said, I'll probably end up burning it before we get there, and then maybe we can do the entire final lap just on boost, and we'll see what happens. Pop the engine in our beetle, and we'll see. Brakes actually feel pretty good. Steering feels jank because of that slight lean to the left, but uh, everything else is, is feeling good in this car. Pretty darn pleased with the way we're at. Except for this one corner here. Oh, that is a rough one. Get a boost, and we'll save the last two bars for this lap, and we'll see uh, if... <laughs> well, I'm going to need it, hopefully, to, uh, to keep myself ahead. 
Whoa, that guy just flew past me. But it's a neon. I don't think it's the car that I bet on. They do have an exclamation mark above them. I have no idea what that means. And I'm first. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to save the last little bit of nitrous, but I used it there because I want to pull ahead as much as we can. The pack is definitely gaining, so we got to have that like slight ace up our sleeve just in case. And the janky corner of all jankiness actually went really nicely there. Game says slow down, I say boost, and we win. <laughs> Nice. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh no. Lady, it looks like we may or may not have just absolutely slapped you and uh, hopefully going to be taking all your cash. I got slapped, but that won't happen again, senor. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. Thank you very much. Uh, and we got more mods for our car. Not bad at all, guys. Not bad at all. Uh, you can gain respect by entering a crew challenge. You can use the mobile phone to arrange this. Um... Oh my goodness, it's a Sony excursion. <laughs> This game has some very strange uh, well, obsession with, like, actually point. realistic radios What's and the stuff. Challenge, man? We're ready. Any okay, let's see if we can do it. Um, this is, uh, this is turning violent here. Uh, <laughs> apparently, oh man, the, the, that kind of tech has aged like milk these days. I mean, those phones are just gone. But I don't think Sony even makes phones anymore. But it is really funny to see them, like, fully integrated into this game. And I think that, um, like, when, when I was a kid, if I had seen that, I would have been like, whoa! And then kind of pretending that I had a Sony excursion. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's try and slap this challenge in the Beatle. Um, I think we have to do this lap in a minute five, uh, so hopefully it's doable. <clears throat> Seemed like a decent enough track. Still don't know how to skip those without clicking enter. The controller doesn't uh, doesn't skip them for whatever reason. Oh my goodness. Beetle OP. We need that turbo though. We need it bad. I, I feel like it, more power is uh, our biggest issue. Other than the pulling to the left part, which I might try to fix soon. I think I can do a minute five on this. I honestly have no idea. <laughs> Slow down! No, Gabe. No, I am boosting. Okay, we got one lap to do this. I need... To boost. Okay, I will slow down a little bit though. And then I'll boost. Come on, 15 seconds. 15 seconds. No! Yes! <laughs> okay. Goodness. <clears throat> Total winnings, four grand. I'll take it. And we got more stuff. New mods, overall car, getting OP by the second. This is uh, this is going very very well. <clears throat> okay, let's um, let's modify the performance of our car. This time we're going over the level that we were at before. Level two. Let's bring out the eye box springs again, um, and uh, yeah, they gotta be as low as humanly possible. Level 3 we can't get. Gearbox, we're good. Brakes already level 2. We're good there. Twin turbos level 2. Let's do it. HKS, 
245 horsepower, we are now in class 7, uh, which is going to make things more difficult, I'm assuming. Uh, and let's go up to HKS, and we'll tune ourselves for uh, 246 horsepower. That is a lot of power compared to what we were rocking before. So our total specs, I think we have everything that we can get except for paint. Yeah, paint is paint is the only thing that we're missing there, um, but we have pretty much all the uh, stuff that we need. All right. I'm good with everything here. Let's just go ahead and race, and I'm assuming... Oh! Okay, good. <laughs> so we can't enter this one because we don't have a class uh, 8 car, but we can enter these because we do have class 7. So let's just go ahead and do all these class 7 races. It would be good to have a class 8 car, though. Can we just buy one? <laughs> <clears throat> Dealership, let's see what we got. Actually, mobile phone. <laughs> no way! <laughs> oh my goodness, you could change your phone! Okay, why is, why didn't people play this more than Need for Speed? <laughs> this is too much. Sharp GX30. No way! I don't even know what, which one to choose. <clears throat> um, okay, this one has a selfie camera. I'm choosing that. Uh, it's $200. <laughs> okay, so you said to uh, get your car back to class 8, call TK, get his car, then get your car to class 7, then you have both. Okay, so let's uh, quickly drop down to class... Uh... <clears throat> Goodness. Let's drop down to class... 8 again. And we'll go down to level 1 turbos. Actually, let's go down to stock turbos. <clears throat> Class 8. That puts us at 189 horsepower. <clears throat> we'll call that guy. <laughs> now that we're rocking a different Sony excursion phone. <clears throat> I see. Um, so if we race this guy, man, that is so freakishly loud. TK. Race for pinks, shall we do it? This is going to be tough, I would assume. <laughs> okay. Sure. Let's do it. If I lose my car, I am going to cry, but other than that, five laps. Uh, Hopefully we can beat him. I don't see. I don't think we're gonna have much problem. Although he is rocking 195 horsepower, so he does have more power than me. It was always gonna come to this. A race for pinks. That's a good bet. Oh, I hope I don't lose it. <laughs> I really can't lose this race. <clears throat> this is a risk to end all risks, boys. This. This. Beetle has brought us through the entire game so far, so I don't want to be thrashing its name too hard, if you know what I mean. This this car is our car. <clears throat> the orange underglow, it's too much for him. I'm just going to beat him up. Nice try. <laughs> nice try, what do you mean? That was successful, buddy. I cause damage. I guess I'm not sure if that uh, gives me a penalty or something, but uh, penalties are part of the part of the match. Oh my goodness! Five laps, by the way. <clears throat> if I lose this, I'm ending the stream. <laughs> oh man, I can't drive. That's gonna be a problem. <laughs> I tried to do a handbrake corner there, but I think the curb took me took me for a little bit of a ride. 
not the place I wanted to be is, is basically what I'm trying to say. Okay, so what, what we're gonna do, unless he passes me, we're gonna keep the boost. Uh, because we may as well just stay close to him. Then he might crash? Really? Is that actually a thing? So funny, weird. Okay, we might we might have to try that. Obviously, I don't want to risk uh, this, but uh, our racing beetle is doing too good so far, and I don't want to lose it. Um, we have enough money that we could probably just buy another car from the dealer, but uh, yeah, let's let's not <laughs> unless we have to. <clears throat> you know, I'm actually enjoying this. It is it is a decent amount of fun. Um, it's good for these kind of one-off streams, I think, to just jump into Juice for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I also have Pro Street. I think I mentioned that a while ago as something I've been thinking about streaming, but... Oh, man. If I just... <laughs> you know, we'll just let it round the corner by itself. That's, that's how it works here. Oh, that's the exclamation mark? So it's a stress thing. Interesting. <clears throat> oh, I should probably stop reading comments and start driving. <laughs> we still have a lot of boosts, so I don't think that, um... I don't think we need to worry too, too much. Lap three of five. Come on. Oh, that's not bad. Come on, Beetle. I want these. I want these respect points. I also want to slap this guy uh, and steal his car, <clears throat> and then we'll pop our beetle into class seven, and we'll have our Akira, uh, which we'll upgrade as well in class uh, eight. So we'll have a car for every class, which is pretty cool. I, I said Akira in a weird way there. It's Akira, <laughs> Akira. Uh, that kind of works too. Oh, that's rough. Oh my goodness. Okay. Getting close to the last lap, boys. Beetle is still intact. And he's pretty far behind. I think we can handle this. Oh, unless I do that. That was a bit of a fumble. It's time to break out the boost. <laughs> Come on. This is the time when I choke. Let's hope not. Okay, every single corner I get through is one we don't have to do again. Slow down, get says the game. No, I refuse. <clears throat> I will not relent. Ah! <laughs> and then we just put a jet on the back of our beetle. There we go. Now we can use up the rest of the boost. And that's it. <laughs> we win. If I had a hat, I'd take it off. We beat this guy. I'm assuming that that means we get his car. It ain't some maggot driving my wheels away. <laughs> oh my goodness. Even in the end, he insults us and we steal his car. Uh, so, thank you. You've hacked us off, man. That's gonna cost. <clears throat> One day, I'll race for pinks on that beauty. That collection. You're a deep. Okay, apparently that had a pretty significant effect on the way that things were going. But, uh, now if we go to the workshop, we got both cars, Hey, Okay, let's put our Beetle back into class 8, or 7, sorry. With the old twin turbos, because, uh, twin turbo Beetle, yes please. Three grand to do that, unfortunately it cost me money, but it's not the end of the world. And I'm just gonna quickly go to the overview.
Looks like I can get a lot more stuff, so let's put that on. I'm trying to keep the car in class 7, though. Level 3. Let's go for a different brand here. <laughs> we may as well. Oh, I didn't want to adjust that. I'm fine with it the way it is. Level 3 AM. Man, this this is going to be the hottest beetle the world has ever seen. Uh, level 3 here as well, Bridgestone. And do we got any extra nitrous? I don't think so. Car spec. It looks like we're pretty maxed out except for the paint once again. And just to run it through one more time, drop the uh, 278 horsepower. Yes, please. Oh, it does? <laughs> I mean, that might make things a little bit easier. That is a, probably a good idea. Yeah, no, that is that is a good tip, thank you. Let's go ahead and try that with our RSX, because uh, we want to keep this thing in class uh, 8. It is pretty much max class 8. This would make it max class 8 right here, so let's do it. And in terms of the customization, let's see what we got. I mean, we have money, so we may as well spend it. We got the Veil side kit. Oh my goodness. You know, I, um, I'm making choices in this game that I would not make in real life because, uh, yeah, that's what kind of game this is. But I'm going to put the same rims on all my cars. Um, BBS for life. <laughs> Let's put some side skirts on there. He didn't do too much to it. Oh yeah, this car needs a big wing. Yes, please. I hate it. I like it. Let's do it. You know, there's actually some, like, decent kits and stuff in this game. Like, okay, that's going to be good enough. And for the color, let's just make it like, oh man, there's so many color choices. Uh, bluish. buy that paint thousand bucks and we'll save our cash for the rest of things so class seven class eight i think we're pretty much set up uh to uh to go for more races we can do every race now because we've uh well we've got a car in each class oh uh yes <laughs> okay, <laughs> I haven't been managing my crew at all. Okay, so now we, we literally just have one extra guy in our crew, so we'll just have to wait for um, for that to turn into something. Also, the dealership still rocking the same cars it had last time, so we're not, uh, not exactly uh, <laughs> unlocking any more cars yet. <clears throat> Let's do this one here, this class 7. Uh, we're going to be running our, well, I'm going to be running me. Okay, you know what? After this one, let's run our new guy in one of the races just to see what it does. And we're, we're well, it's my first time in this class, so I'm not going to bet just yet. But we'll probably start betting more often now that i figured out you can really make a ton of money doing that. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, what the heck? Oh my goodness, it's a drag race. I have, I was not changing gears at all there. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize that I what I was entering. <laughs> I didn't realize I actually had to change.
There we go. <laughs> okay, I had to concentrate for a second there, but uh, that was kind of important. No, I, I'm definitely not going to bet on his races, but I bet on mine. Um, and it looks like I came third overall. Uh, I lost the first heat super bad, so I'm going to consider anything to be a bonus here. Oh my goodness. First place again. I'm not doing the changes right at all for what the game wants me to do, but... Uh... I actually came second. Not bad. Especially considering I failed the first one. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, let, let's see what this guy will do in a uh, in a drag race. Let's or whatever kind of race we have next. Um, so it's a circuit. It's a level eight circuit, so he can drive my car, uh, which is good. Um, we'll go to this event, we're going to enter the race, we're going to send Vito, and uh, I guess he has his own car. Okay, I guess we get to watch the race now, <laughs> is that what happens? Gotta remember he's in the blue RSX Type S, he actually has a pretty good advantage here, he is max level uh, for 8. This is my first time doing one of these, so we actually get to see what it what it looks like when somebody else does the racing. <clears throat> I can just pretend to uh, to be <laughs> driving, I guess. <clears throat> you know, this is very strange. <laughs> So, Q and W. Let me add him. Hi, I guess? Here Does that mean go. that he just needs to be, uh... Back to third. Cool. Second, boss. I mean, second place is probably fine. I... I have no idea what's going on at the moment, but I appreciate the uh, tips from you guys. You give him directions to be more or less aggressive, I see. High will make him push harder, but he'll stress out more easily, I get it. So right now he's in a good position, I don't see him coming first, unless something drastic happens. Start a new lap. I see. So Here we, we can... Go really gamify this and just let him go high uh, and then when the time comes where his thing is starting to get red we'll drop it down to medium and let him uh, calm down I guess but like he's not even doing anything other than just driving faster so doesn't even look like he's gaining on them so I don't know if this is actually worthwhile <clears throat> It's an interesting mechanic, though. This is not something I've ever seen in a racing game. <laughs> is there extra high? <laughs> Can we put him on extreme hotness mode? Uh, where he just does the most ridiculous maneuvers but wins the race? Because that's what I would set it to every time. He won't use NOS unless he's in high. Interesting. So yeah, you do actually have to play f with it in order to keep him in high at the right times. Very strange, but very, very cool. Uh, this is not something I would have thought about. Out of juice. Out of juice, buddy, no! Well, he's in high. He's got a lap and a half left. You know, I kind of, uh... I kind of like this mechanic, but it is very strange. <laughs> and it kind of... It basically just means that for one, I get a chance to read your guys' comments and, and stuff, which is cool. Gran Turismo 4. Funny. I should probably pull that out and try. Oh, he's actually catching up. Come on, Vito. <clears throat> but, uh... Th this is a weird thing. If, if I was just playing this game by myself, 
without the stream, I probably wouldn't even do this, because I'd do it once, I'd be like, what the heck was that? And then I would just be like, eh, you know, I should probably just, uh, let's put him down to medium and let him relax. <clears throat> but then I, I would just be like, oh, <laughs> weird. TK about to crash out? I hope that they crash out. Come on. Okay, let's Here put him go. back in high. He's on yellow. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Unfortunately, medium and high is such a significant difference. He's just like way behind now. Two seconds down. Almost three. But this is an interesting test. Um, I think... Uh, I think I'm probably not going to do this too much more. <laughs> but I can pretend to be racing if he's actually winning. <clears throat> oh, he wiped out. No way. Oh. Okay, I'll see you guys in the bar. Very nice. Very, very nice. Me and my crew. So 2v2v2 two v two v two and 3v3. Three three. Interesting. Hey, so I guess that gives me incentive to actually build up my team, uh, because at the moment, I mean, he won, but he barely won. <laughs> Just barely won. Akira, he got some more mods. His skills have increased. I appreciate him uh, actually winning the race. I don't know what the respect meters at all, or I don't know what they mean at all is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> is his his car is oh he was driving my car i'm an idiot oh my goodness <laughs> uh that's not his car it's my car <clears throat> okay let's do another race but i'll actually do it this time uh let's do this here let's enter it i'll enter it and uh i will bring my rsx but it seems like our RSX is actually decent because he was driving it, so... Let's just do a ridiculous bet against Maria. Um, it, <laughs> because she's not going to win. There's no way that she's going to win. You proved to Maria that you weren't no fluke. Your wheels make my whole car look like a... So how much we talking on? Okay, we can only bet 12,000. Did you think I'd do something else? <clears throat> Alrighty. <laughs> you know, things are getting weird in this game, but I'm I'm very happy that uh, we are going to be slapping people in our Acura. Oh, never mind. I forgot that this is a drag race. Please don't lose this. Oh, no. Oh, I won the bet, I guess. Oh, my goodness. I uh, should probably pay more attention to what type of events I'm entering here because... Uh, Early change. What is the exact ratio that they want me to change in? There's no, Is there a shift light that I'm just not seeing? Okay, as long as we're beating Maria, we're good. Uh, and I'm glad that I only bet on her, because that could have been a lot worse there. Optimum change. Optimum change. Right on that dot is where they want me to, to let it go. And it looks like we're going to run up in a second place here, so probably third overall. Alright. Maybe what we can do is... Um, maybe you have something secret under that hood. <laughs> We're just thrashing here constantly. Um, but maybe what we can do is... Uh, skip all that. Make our guy do all of the uh, the side races. Like the, those ones that I keep failing at. <laughs> and then I'll do all the actual like regular ones. Okay, let me see. What is this? Circuit. There we go. That's what I want to do. Sprint. Nah. Circuit. Yes. Okay. Right here. Let's do it. 
send me. I'll go and uh, see if I can't just win this one. Let's put a no let's put out another bet. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna continue to do this every single time. TK, buddy, it's your turn to you get thrashed. Hell, if I was looking to buy one of these, I'd buy yours. I am a disappointed man. Oh, I lost respect for backing out on him. He didn't have enough money. I thought I was gonna try and bet with him a lot more. I've heard all about you. Nice. You've got some stuff. Let's see what you're betting. Okay, let's bet the uh, the max amount here that she's interested in. Sure. Let's. I want to add this lady to my phone uh, so that we can potentially steal all her stuff. <clears throat> So I kind of see what you guys are talking about with the respect thing. Um, I am paying attention to your comments, by the way. Uh, at least somewhat. <laughs> <clears throat> so that guy, the reason that we we're able to race him for a pink slip is because our respect went high enough that we were able to do it. Uh, so that makes sense to me. Um, but everybody else, we kind of, we want to raise their respect. We, we want respect to go up from what I'm understanding. <clears throat> So when we're thrashing somebody in a bet, respect goes up for some people because they don't like that other person. And then uh, respect goes down for them because we thrash them. But uh, overall, it's a net win for our bank account, so I feel like that's kind of worthwhile. <clears throat> By the way, RSX, kind of ripping right now, pretty darn quick. Oh, that's rough. I'm actually, like I said, I'm thoroughly impressed with this game. There's a lot more to it than I thought there would be. Uh, when I first started it up, I was kind of under the impression that it was a little bit uh, light on content. But, man, there's a lot of weird systems going on uh, that I think could be a lot of fun. So, this is not going to be the last Juice stream. I will do another one uh, coming up soon. Yeah, thanks for the tip uh, on this stuff. Uh, name I cannot pronounce starts with an A, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're you're making this game a lot a uh, lot more clear for me, and I appreciate that. <clears throat> oh goodness, because uh, at at this point, it's taking me a while to figure things out sometimes, uh, but obviously with help, that makes things easier. New lap record: 50 seconds with the Acura. Pretty darn fast, if I do say so. Okay, well, we only have two laps left, so we may as well just boost this and actually give it a little bit. Uh, slow down, it says. I refuse, game. Absolutely not. <laughs> There's got to be a way to turn that off. However, it is encouraging when I don't break at all and when it tells me to break. I find that to be funny. Oh, there we go. That was a drift. Massive respect there. <laughs> and a new lap record as well. Oh, I suck. Never mind. <laughs> Here I thought I was doing well and then all of a sudden... The wall appears out of nowhere. <clears throat> hey, Groove, Groove Star, I appreciate your enthusiasm about this game. It, you guys being into this game makes me into this game too, because uh, it, well, you share your enthusiasm with me, I guess. And then uh, I'm learning more from you as we continue to talk about these things. <clears throat> There we go. I thought I was going to flunk that corner, but uh, thankfully not. Have I pr played Street Racing Syndicate? I have. I actually have played uh, quite a bit of that. <laughs> I've got... I think I have 14 hours in that game in Steam. <clears throat> but it is a fun game. It is a lot of fun. Okay, more money for us. And we won that bet yeah, as well. You. You're a mean driver. <laughs> We thrashed her Ford Focus. It's a Ford Focus. 
Okay, so when it comes to this stuff, we lost a little bit of respect, but we also gained a lot of respect. He hates all the damage you cause. <laughs> what? What does that mean? Okay. I think it's time you joined in the fun. You are real sh Well, okay. Well, we're um, we're gaining respect. We're, uh, gaining lots and lots of respect. Boys, uh I'm going to save just to make double sure that the game doesn't quit on me. Yeah, Syndicate is definitely the one with the girlfriends and uh, the, the dancing and stuff. Oh, it's so awkward. Don't don't watch any of the dancing. It's really bad. <laughs> it's quite funny as well. <clears throat> this is way better than a GT7 stream. Hey, you know, it's got its own charm. That's uh, That's for darn sure. But guys, I'm going to end the stream here. It's been a little while, but, uh, well, it's kind of late for me. <laughs> Unfortunately, I started a little bit later than I wanted to. That's okay, though. More Juice streams coming up in the future, the not-so-distant future. Um, but until then, I'll see you guys again uh, with some other stuff, um, BMNG stuff, on Saturday. <clears throat> and maybe Juiced again next week, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, thanks for the tips, guys. Thanks for sticking it around for the stream. Drop a like on this stream before you go, by the way, if you enjoyed it. And uh, if you missed some of the stream, just go watch the VOD. It's going to be up immediately um, after this stream is over. Uh, but, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Thanks, guys. I'll see you again soon. And uh, appreciate all these comments and stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's been a good, been a good Tuesday night. <laughs>